We travel to a rural community in New Zealand to understand how a gang member runs this youth group. Some people can't look past the yeah. fact that I'm a gang member. Yeah, yeah. I'm Rungo King, professional strongman, business owner and loving family man. I'm embarking on a new journey in my life where filmmaker friend Mitch and I will be visiting communities from all over and learning how they live their lives. My goal is to show the world the unordinary things of these ordinary people. This is a Locals Tale. On Sunday afternoons in the winter months, teenagers of the Hutt Valley Youth Club go to the Taita Community Hall. Youth groups have been around in New Zealand for a long time, for many different reasons. And here, members of a youth club are holding a dress rehearsal. <laughs> But ever since the rise of teenage rebellious culture in the 50s... We, we don't want to comply with rules or anything like that. We, we're just different, that's all. The New Zealand government has been funding more and more youth groups across the country in hopes of supporting our youth. These youth groups give teenagers a place to engage in fun activities surrounded around enhancing self-help and life skills, all while being in a positive community. This helps in guiding our youth along the right path in life. Last night, almost 20 teenagers in three cars forced their way into an East Auckland mall. On average, there are 40 ram raids around the country every single month. 62% of them are carried out by youth offenders. And as of today, with the rise of crime and gang involvement within New Zealand youth... We're youth gangs, you know, we terrorise the streets. But... These groups are more important than ever. But unfortunately, with the cost of living crisis in New Zealand, lots of families are being forced to work multiple jobs, which means less time spent with their kids, therefore increasing demand for these youth groups. But with the high demand, there is not enough government funding to go around, leaving a lot of youth groups relying on payments from their students to cover cost. This can add up quite quickly for some families. So this is where self-funded groups come into play offering free youth group programs for families in their community. So a good day for the day, whanau, cheer, brother. This is when I came across Mahi Kaya. Where are we off to today? Fishing. Fishing. Wang wang. A self-funded youth group located in a small community called Ruatuki, on the outskirts of Whakatane. Mahi Kaya live stream on Facebook, showcasing how they're teaching their youth to live off the land through hunting and gathering. So today with the younger rangatai, we're gonna be smoking some fish. This is offering a unique way to connect with the youth through the land. I also noticed that the man behind Mahi Kaya was a gang member. I was intrigued because gang members don't usually run youth groups. And that's their fans. I wanted to learn more about Mahi Kaya. So we headed over to New Zealand Take a look for ourselves. Before heading down to Whakatane, we had a few stop-offs to make. Our first stop was off to hunting and fishing Aotearoa to find me a snorkel and a wetsuit that fit. Next, we travelled through the night across the Whangamata where we woke up early to meet up with my old friend, my brother, Tom Kulia, who was taking us out to gather some seafood for us to take up as a gift to the whanau at Mahikai. Today is, for me honestly, um, a privilege. The bro shared with me many years ago that he wanted to come home and uh, get back on the water. But today the brother is gonna take me under his wing and, and take me out and put me in the water. So I'd like to introduce you whanau to my brother, this is brother Tom, or Capitan. Cheers, brothers. Today we're going to head over to the Ottoman Islands, get the brother out there um, just to give him a perspective of what we see under the water and how, how important it is that, that we look after it. Over at the Aldi's is always clean so it's, it's going to be good for the bro to jump in and try and get a koi um, to, to take the Whakatane. So that's our mission for today and uh, it's going to be a good day and I'm pumped to have the brother over here. Um, it's going to be
That was a shark, Captain! What's the what's your thoughts? We're in there, brother. We're in there. We're in there. Be that shark better watch out. We're not in the damn swimming pool now, boy. <laughs> Well, Scuba Steve here. Yeah. It's just, you know, just becoming one. Connecting with the fire. And after seeing that shark, no wonder it swam away. Because the sea water was coming. So, nah, pumped as. A little bit nervous, to be honest. Like I said, I'm definitely um, uh, out of my comfort zone, but I'm excited because I've been wanting to do this for years. And I'm just grateful I get to do it with my brother. And um, show me the way. So, today is been a long time coming and um, despite the, uh, the the smooth sailing out here the Burry Rick it's flat ass <laughs> flat ass brother and whew, whew, just about ooh, I just about gave in whanau and it's about lost breakfast but we're here so once we get in the water I think I'll settle and then we can go from there <laughs> gathering Kai we headed back in to have a debrief with Tom and hear about how him and his crew have been catching seafood and sharing it throughout the community. When we came out like when we jumped I was like oh it's beautiful wasn't it till we got out to the open so the bearing sea we were calling <laughs> it went from this was me on the handle of the boat oh beautiful day hour later <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, brother! It was quite peaceful, that even though the ride was rough out there, it was like the first time in a long time that I've actually had a moment to just yeah. sit and be present. When you do go down into the water, it's like everything disappears. Everything's man. gone. Yeah, and it's just quiet. like, you can't hear a thing. I got my first kinder today, Fano, <laughs> myself, you know, and like, for me, this is huge because... Yeah, absolutely, bro. You know, even as old as I am, to say that this was my first dive and I collected my own kinder today, um, I'm still quite taken back by that and, 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 and it's something that I'll never forget. Like I'm in a cherished moment I have today with the brother for the rest of my life. But when we op got up to the boat and we opened up that kinder bay, that was the best kinder no. I've ever had, <laughs> bay. Should have seen the size of yeah, it too. What did you say? What did I say to you, bro? <laughs> no bloody golf balls, boy. If you know how you down in that water, that kinder looks huge. And when you come up to the <laughs> surface, that kinder... And I, and I was like a kid, I come screaming up, Cass! Cass! And he, he turns around and looks at me like, hey, <laughs> are we getting puppies? <laughs> I just know how much aroha and love you have for the ocean. And mm. to experience that today with you, bro, was absolutely, it was on, bro. What we do is we, we take our rangatahi up um, for kaupapa dives, for like tangi unveilings all those sorts of things and we also while we're out there we also teach our our, our tamariki about uh koitiakitanga about um being protectors of of whether it be the the ocean or or the nahiri the forest yeah. the awa the rivers wow. because um my father once told me that if the awa and the moana are thriving our people will thrive wow yeah i think you've definitely opened up something within me um, about diving mm. and it's something that um, I'm still trying to figure out right now because that's yeah, an but experience. It, 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 it'll come when, when you head down to your, your next mission. Mm. Kane, mm. Bro, you got the bro kai, you got it yourself. Mm. Here you go brother. That's the feeling bro. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about. Appreciate you my brother, thank you. Huh? We said our goodbyes to brother Tom and hit the road to Whakatane where we spent the night resting up as we were up early the next morning to venture 15 minutes out of Whakatane to Ruatoki where Mahikai had spent the night camping as well as preparing a hangi. As soon as we arrived we were straight into it. 
No mucking around. Got all these tools out. I don't even know what's going on, but we're here, bro. We'll figure it out together. What do you want to do, my brother? We'll take this front shoulder off first. So you just cut straight down there. Both sides. And then just fill it off like a fish. It's pretty easy. So you're not watching. Make it nervous. <laughs> 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 oh, that's solid, right here. Following you. Yep. yep. Right around, brother. Mm. Right around okay. to the spine. Yep. Good boy. Soft enough. Yeah. Uh, Fuck, that's a knife, cuz that's a knife. Got it on lock, yo. Oh, yeah, natural. Oh, look at that, yo. Oh, 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 hey, hey. hey, no meat on that bone, gang. Hey. Hey. Yeah, come over here, my boy. So just cut them into chunks, my boy. You can go down that way. Mm. Mean, brother. Cut it straight for you. Yeah. You can have a jam here rolling, mean brother. Ahangi is a traditional Māori method of cooking by burying heated rocks with food in a pit. This method of cooking has been passed down from generations. Morena Fano, we are here bright and early. Everyone here has been up since 3 a.m. They didn't get to bed till late last night. They were hunting, but I'm um, privileged to be here this morning. We're just doing the final prep, and then we're gonna pull out these red hot stones. So I'm told, red hot. So we'll pull them out, put it down. Phew! Help. Yeah, my brother, you got it. Right there, boy, yeah, boy! Yeah. Ooh, Neff! Get him right in there, Neff, there you go. Chuck him in, Neff. Yeah, boy! Yeah, I think it'd be. Yeah, who's our bad crew? Come on, grab a sack. Grab a sack. Pass him over. Thank you, brother. Yep, to me, to me, to me. Yep, thank you. Nice steam, eh? Cascades, get those shovels, we have. Ooh, get in there, Nick. Me and our Nick. There's a moment there, I reckon it's with. It's hot. What I've experienced so far, and we've only just got here, is magical, it's beautiful, and it's powerful. So, I'd like to introduce you. My brother, introduce yourself, my bro. Kia ora whanau. Um, ko tairo hia te maunga, ko ohine mataroa te awa, ko te rewerewa te marae, ko maa hure hure te hapu, ko tūhoi te iwi, uh, ko rangia hoa hau. Uh, two fams, rangia hoa is my name. Uh, everybody knows me as um, Hola, but um, yeah, just uh, it's a bit of an honour and a privilege to have the bro here. Um, come out and spend a few hours with us, um, just get to show them a little bit of what we do. And um, the culture that we're trying to hold within our own people, as uh, we were just speaking about it before, it's starting to die away. And um, it's our job and our mission to make sure that it stays alive and it stays within our people. I'm excited to see the community, meet all the people, but most importantly, break bread with all the whanau, so yeah. let's go. Oh, it's still fresh, guys. After handing over our gift bag of kinnas, we headed off to what we thought was a drive around to explore more of the farm. Well, wow, that was until we had a slight change of plans. I'm just gonna suss us out some horses now, we'll jump on the horse. Hey! <laughs> You're riding the horse, cousin! Oh, oh, we're gonna go over here. This is the honks. Oh, yeah, I was a bit nervous, like, hey, will it hold me? No, he's just licking him there, paddock. Are you in that couple, bro? It should be easy. Hey, Reeves! Take Too much! That's how smart I can't even remember last time my riddle horse. Shit. We've got to put you in the deep in my castle. Stop out, man, there. 
Yeah. She's really me out of <laughs> <laughs> Mafus, brother. Chain underneath and up, not take it out. That chain goes under his chin. Yep. Yeah. Hey, the I'm not like going to do I mean, to my horse, thank you for not making us run around. Yeah. Wow, because they could have just been. Oh, yeah. They could have went sideways, man. It was a big paddock. Wow, I don't know, we're both figuring out are you riding me or am I are you going to jump on me? Hey, my bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't get nervous often, I'm, I'm getting pretty nervous, <laughs> only because I, I don't ride horses. Oh, yeah, that was a I just want to thank you both for just throwing me in the deep end. Next minute you have me climb. No, no. Yeah, no, they will see that tree cuz, bro, and climb it. No, no. No, no. Cuz, you know what? I was waiting, I was freaking out. I was like, don't you whack its ass while I'm on it out. Don't you do that to me, brother. Cuz I seen you turn, I was like, hoo, hoo. Alright, my bro, where we go? I'm nervous, asses. <laughs> so, the bros just chucked me in the deep end, and I'm here for it. So, um, it's a beautiful horse, though. I'm a kinnick with it. Connected straight away, so I'm just gonna cruise this through. I'm not expecting to do too much, I'm just happy to be on a horse. Um, yeah, pretty crazy, but we're here. We're in it, we said we're gonna dive in, and we're diving in, fam. Let's go, brother! Hey. <laughs> Once we got back to camp, Holla wanted to share with us his story of how he came to helping the youth. Yeah, so about three years ago, um, ended up in a motorcycle crash, me and my wife. So um, not many of my um, followers know um, that I live with a leg like this now, Fano, because of the accident. Uh, me and my wife were involved and uh, hospitalised for a couple months, had to learn how to walk and all that. I was working before the accident happened and um, what happened was when I got out of hospital, um, ACC told me I couldn't go back to work and um, instead of me sitting at home wasting my time I pursued my passion which was kai gathering and um, I wanted to step it up another level and uh, teach it to the young ones in our communities or the rangatai. So um, yeah, um, this accident actually uh, brought something positive out of this. If I didn't have the accident, I don't think I would have been doing the youth stuff. So everything happens for a reason, and I believe this was, you know, um, my time to do what I was supposed to do, or what I'm supposed to be here for. Can't see how much that coin dropped me. Bye. 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 Bye.
Look at those big words, Cuzzy. After our beautiful Kai was finished, we dove into deep conversation with our brother Holla about his youth. Well, what age groups do you work with, bro? Like, any? So, yep, yeah, um, so 10 up. So 10 yeah, will be the yeah, youngest yeah. we work with. So 10 to 14 is um, running the afternoons, and then our troubled teens, like you're having yeah. trouble with school and all that. Yeah, yeah. We um we run them in the afternoons, yeah. And then um each term we we sort of have a graduation yeah, 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 certificate yeah. and that. But you know, at the end of the day, a certificate's nothing, bro. Mm. It, um, but it's just um giving the kids a sense of um accomplishment, uh, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, that and they've making them feel something. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah they've, they've, they've put yeah, the money into it. That's something. more, bro. Yeah, the biggest payment for me is um watching these kids smile when they've learned oh, the beautiful simplest beautiful, things bro from setting up a fishing line putting a hook and a sinker on yeah, yeah, yeah. some of our kids come from far knows they know this stuff but never made time to teach them this mm. and it's f***ing sad bro because i know most of them some of the kids and um i say i'm like this is wretched ain't your your dad does it hard because i know mm. and there's never been time for it to be taught to their own kids bro and we're out here to teach them and we're here to judge nobody. I just want to do my mahi, make sure that it shines within. The rangatai that comes through outdoors, my bro. Even though um, who I am, some people can't look past the yeah. fact that I'm a gang member. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can't change that, bro. Mm. But what I can change is um, the rangatai that come through the mahi kai doors, bro. Beautiful. Bro. It's, it's a all neutral grounds when they come in. Um, I keep my um, gang stuff away. I can't help it when the bros come and help me, but. I stay true to what I'm, yep, what I'm no, doing, bro. As long as I'm leading by example. Yep. And that's another thing I love by as well. If I'm not um, practicing what I'm trying to preach, but I'm yes, not gonna fucking teach it, my bro. Me, because bro. I don't wanna be. I don't. I'm not one of those followers, bro. To be out there, you do this, you do that. I'm not even doing it myself. It doesn't work like that. Sometimes we can come across a bit rough. Like you might see it if the kids start stepping out of line. Yeah. Like I'm not always this good, my bro. When the kids no, no, when the kids it. step out of line, they need to be. You know, yeah, they yeah. need to know. Otherwise, what are they learning? Yeah. If I'm not gonna, you know, tell them that they're, they're doing wrong, bro. So yeah. I understand it, bro. As a father too, mm. I understand, bro. Like yeah, they need to know when it's time to know. Yeah, yeah. You put back into line. Like, hey, yeah. what are we doing? What's going on? The main thing is you don't get. What you don't do, brother, because what I found out working with the kids is you don't get like um, some of them will try and look at you like a father figure, mm. but you don't get that mixed up with that and the mahi, my bro. Yeah, yeah. You uh, make it clear that you're here to teach them, me. Yeah. Shit, that's and yeah, teach okay, them, bro. Me, brother, yeah. because some of them will try to attach to you like that, and then um, which uh, to a to a certain point, my bro, you gotta draw a line. Yeah, okay, bro. Hey, brother, you don't let them. Cause there's a line bro where they can come over and and you little do you know they're disrespecting you in a way mm. because they know that they can get that far mm. but yeah just draw a line brother and you just let them know you're here to learn and we're not here to force it if you want to learn kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Yeah. and uh, when you finish working with these kids bro it's about how you maintain it yes so bro. you can't just teach them and, and leave, leave them. them and think they're gonna carry on mm. what you do is bro you still um connect with them after and you still invite them see what i've done is and what i always do bro these um kids on their table i've been some of them i've been with me since the start bro mm. and um i give them the option to come if they want to come and help and all that and um yeah bro and i see that I know that I've done my job properly because they're in there doing it. They're here. And then, yeah, they can speak for the mahi I do, my bro. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful, brother. That's beautiful. And everyone here around you understands the mahi yeah. and the kopa <laughs> that goes behind it. When yeah. one moves, all moves. Yeah. You know, and it's like a, it's, 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 it's a beautiful sync yeah. engine, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that's magical, bro. And that don't happen overnight. Yeah. That does not happen brother. overnight, doesn't. bro. It takes time, patience, time, patience, and love, bro, which is the biggest yeah. thing. And it's so awesome to sit here and experience it, bro. Yeah. It's been beautiful. Thank you, my bro, because you're probably the... You are the only one, bro, who's actually come... And you come from Aussie, and 
get to share my, you know, get to share the journey, the story, um, with you, the bro, you know, for, for someone to come from there, meet up with us, didn't even know us from a bar, so, that's cool, my brother, so thank you. Oh, well, thank you, bro. Oh. This, is, this is the thing, though, bro, is that <clears throat> when you see real people doing real things, yeah. you have to go and connect. Yeah, sure. And I've been watching you fellas on your mahi for a while, bro, and it's beautiful. And when we connected and you, we teed this up, bro, this is this has honestly been the mission that I've been most excited about yeah, because I knew so it was going to be real. And what you see is what yeah, you get. What you see is oh, what that's you what people get. need to see. I, yeah. I think this world today needs to see that, bro. Yeah. What you see is what you get, and this is how we help. Sure and this is how we, we do. No, and this I say this with no disrespect. You cannot put a parkia man in front of our people yeah. and expect our people to listen. Yeah, it's not going to work. Never has worked. And it's people like brothers like this and sisters out here in the communities putting in the mahi that no one's seen. Far what up. they call it, what they bring up, you know what they call it these days is um, lived experiences. Mm. It's it's us connecting with um, the people that, you know, that have been through sort of the same thing as us, bro, then that's where that comes from, mate. You can't, bro, you know, like um, helping somebody, you could all day go and get a certificate yep. and um, yep. doing this and that, but it's never gonna work. Because you've never been there, you've never done it. You've only just done it in the, you know, in the book in the work book and all work. that. Hey, yeah. Experience goes a long way, oh. straight 100%. up. Live experience, brother. For me, yep, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my brother. Let's go, bro. This has been beautiful. After an action-packed morning, we headed off to a marae located deep up the valley involving 21 river crossings only accessible by horseback or four-wheel drive and i think we've done enough horseback riding for the day so four-wheel driving it is we're up at um the poho also known as Butere brother and um yeah this is probably the farthest you could come up. This is deep in, deep in the lab, bro. Right? Deep in the Udu it is. It's hard to explain, you know, yeah. just being here, I can just feel. The way to up here, bro. The way to is yeah. strong, bro, because it's, it's breathtaking, brother. <laughs> well, Farno, today has been absolutely amazing. I am, I'm blown away. I, I can't. I can't take into words how I feel right now. Truly honoured and blessed to be here with my brother today. Brother, thank you from the bottom of my heart and everyone here watching for taking us on this beautiful day, showing us your mahi, but most importantly, sharing time with you and your whanau, bro, and bringing us to this beautiful place, bro. So, brother, bottom of my heart, bro. Thank you, my brother. Eh? Mm. We ended up donating over a thousand dollars to Mahi Kai. All thanks to you guys who brought our merch. All proceeds from our merch goes back to supporting us on our journey, allowing us to travel to these communities to tell their stories. If you'd like to support our journey, head over to our Discord where you'll find all the merch details as well as other ways to support our journey. Link to our Discord server is in the description below. Later fans, bye.